back. I'm really excited, got the shock back for it. And today, the plan of attack, or the goal, go ahead and get the front caliber back on this thing, re-bled, gonna go ahead and get the foot pegs on here, and of course, the rear shock. So, um, I mentioned originally that I was planning on using race tech, but I found somebody local who can do it. Velocity calibrations. Man, Eric knocked it out. He got it done, and this thing looks really good. So, definitely recommend using him. I'll put up the, uh, the information in the description below. Hit him up and uh, see if he can help you out. But very pleased so far and uh, can't wait to get this thing on the bike and see how it actually rides. Um, in regards to the charging system issue, I did actually do some more checks and the Reg Rec actually tests bad. So I do have, um, I do have one on order from Rick's, Rick's Motorsport Electrics. I always prefer to use them when possible. So called them up this morning, got something on order, and uh, excited for that to come in. Another great company. So anyway, I'm gonna get to work on this thing, and then hopefully we can have this thing safe and fun and reliable. All right, so I went ahead and just pulled off the caliper in the rear. Um, just kind of getting the foot peg on it and playing with the actuation and it just, you know, it didn't seem like the caliper was moving quite like it should. So just to be extra safe, took it off and I'm glad I did. So um, I'm gonna pull the piston out of this thing, but I think it was binding up because the, uh, the pad spring here was, it's just kind of mangled. So there was no free motion in here and I don't think the pads were doing a whole lot of anything. Um, and yeah, it's just, you know, one, <laughs> one thing after another with this, but we are going to get there, I guess. So we will get all of this cleaned up, operating smoothly. And then with the rear, with the, uh, the brake, brake lever, it looks like I'm going to have to clearance a little bit of it. So not sure how it would have worked even from the factory correctly, but I'm just going to do what we can. Pad moves really, really freely. Surprising. Oh yeah, there's some nice gunk in there. Let's toss in, toss this in the ultrasonic real quick. I've heard the best spot for an electrical plug hanging right above the water source. Get out of here. All right, we've been messing with this for entirely too long. 
have the entire braking system off the rear and I think I've got this thing dialed. I had to do a little bit of clearancing on the pedal itself and then playing with the uh, the bushings in here, just, like, just barely sanding them down. The good range of motion and good snap, no excessive play, and we're gonna be good to go. So next up is I need to uh, swap these pegs because uh, I welded a little bit of extra extra meat on here, so the peg isn't hanging down. It actually has like a, it goes back to level just from being wore out. And then go ahead and reassemble the uh, master and then bleed the thing. Already got the caliper on it. Clean the pads. Get this, the, um, the freaking, the, uh, man, what the heck you call these things? I'm having a brain fart right now. The, the pad spring, the, man, what do you call these things? Oh my gosh, shit. Pad spring, the uh, anti-squeal metal dealio, I know this. It's like day one right now, and I cannot think of what those are called. But anyway, this one was in upside down somehow, and it was rubbing on the rotor, getting eaten away, and all mangled up. It's just like everything on here. <laughs> but got that thing literally like straightened out and uh, bent back into shape, and then the caliper is going to be operating correctly now, and uh, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable. So in the meantime, I've also got the uh, front brakes bled. So those feel really nice, and uh, we're well on our way. Friggin' mint. Got these brakes dialed in, they're working as they should. Uh, I think they're gonna bring this thing to a stop. So good pedal feel, it's pretty instant on here, and then I've got barely any wiggle in the, in the actual pedal itself, as I mentioned. Got that thing dialed in. Got some weld built up on the bottom of the peg, which you're never gonna be able to see, but that has the peg sitting at a nice angle. So we're doing good, getting this thing figured out. Um, as of now, I think what I need to do is I just gotta kinda let it sit tight for a day or two until the uh, reg rec comes and then I can uh, get this thing back on the road. Now, um, I'm gonna put this to you guys in the comments, see what your suggestions are. The speedometer, okay? Now, these things commonly, uh, at least from what I've been reading, these things seem like they commonly fail and mine has no odometer reading and the speedometer of course does not work. Now, two things here, or one thing. The speedometer sensor, I've noticed I have a bad wire, like it is, it was contacting the case here and it rubbed through. So I know that the sensor and the harness here would have to be replaced, but I don't want to replace that if the gauge is bad. So if you guys know any tips or tricks or anything or anything involved with uh, maybe repairing the speedometer instead of just replacing, I'd like to know. Um, send me some info, post some links below, that'd be cool, I'd really appreciate it. But I just don't wanna, I don't wanna fix that if that's not gonna work, and I just, I don't know. I was just having a discussion earlier with somebody and it would be cool to go with like a modern digital setup, like let's say like a Trail Tech or a Coso or something, but those are cool white face gauges, unique to the bike, they have Buell lettering. It's just kind of one of those neat things that are tied to this thing. And I don't know if I wanna get rid of that, so anyway. Got to figure it out, but again, any suggestions, let me know. All right, so quick update here. Worked a little bit and got these mirrors situated, so just worked on doing a new kind of like well nut expansion thing in there, and anyway, we've got them on there. So that's cool, that's one less thing. Um, mentioned we got the foot pegs on, and then I did figure out the seat bolt. Just used a 5 16 um, lag bolt. We got it in there with a freaking wrench this time okay so that's not going anywhere so as of now I should have the reg rec tomorrow I'll slap that thing on there and enjoy this thing should be good to go at that point we'll have uh, we'll have good steering we'll have good suspension we'll have good brakes and then hopefully we'll have good charging system giving us good ignition um, and after that we can start doing the fun stuff Okay, more updates on the Buell here. Now, if you remember from episode one, the Phantom Menace, or I don't know, whatever Star Wars reference that is, you guys make it work in your head. The front exhaust stud on this thing has been drilled out, helicoiled, failed, drilled out, and broke off tap in there and stuff, and it's just been a big mess. 
So um, I had no way of really knowing what thread it was. Well, uh, I just had a cool little idea here. Took this little piece of paper, put it in the hole, and then rubbed a Q-tip on the back of it to get the remaining threads to leave like a witness mark on there. And uh, I mean, this isn't gonna pick it up, but anyway, they measured out to 1.5 millimeter thread pitch. So that gave me an idea of what to go with. And it ended up being M14150 in there. That's a big hole, okay? Standard, they're like 5 sixteenths or so. I don't feel like messing with the head anymore, so what I'm doing is I just cut down that test bolt, cut the end off of it, and then I just have, uh, because I don't have any standard hardware here, this is just a for right now, not a forever type fix, but gonna weld uh, just an M8 bolt right to the end of it. And then that's gonna get us by, and that's gonna let us have two exhaust clamp portions. So I'm gonna take that up right now, and then we will be on our way. Also, just uh, about two minutes ago, got my Rick's Reg Rec for this thing. I'm excited to put that on, and we will be in business. Okay, while this is cooling, let's talk about the exhaust in general and the future plans. So, uh, I personally, I really like these stock headers. I love how they look with this two in one and that nice parallel line right here. So, my plan is to restore this pipe. Um, I wanna get this dent out of it. And then what I'm planning on doing is using a cone engineering, uh, I think um, a big mouth muffler on this thing and I'm gonna neck it down. Um, modify this collector and stuff and weld all new stainless on the back side of this do a cool clamp and uh do like a, a two and a quarter inch setup and it's going to be awesome not sure how soon it's going to happen there's just a lot going on in the next couple months but um once we get this thing sorted you know that's next priority and i'm pretty excited about that because i know it's going to sound amazing i highly doubt you guys can even see this we're going to do it anyway Bear with me here. Is that red Loctite? Yeah, yeah it is. All right, it's as tight as I'm willing, it's as tight as I'm willing to go on this. That actually seems reasonably tight. Promising. Let me tell you, the camera is really in the way right now. Boom, shagalaka. I'm sure this is going to be amazing footage. Super close up of probably the frame. I'm calling that fixed. All right, and here is our reg wreck. Rick's Motorsport 10-916 USA. So we have the corresponding, the matching plug here, and then the DC positive lead here, we'll just trim back, put the correct bullet connector on it, and we should be good to go. This is what uh, they chose for me after getting off the phone with them, and uh, yeah, I trust their judgment. I use them all the time. So let's get this on the bike. All right, so I've got this thing kind of bundled up up here. It's a little long because it's not exactly for this uh, application, but this will work just fine. So. This is a 3.9, more like kind of Japanese style, but it, it will work 
for this application. Let's fire this thing up and see if it charges. see the uh, multimeter but we were charging an idle at 14.0 volts which is freaking awesome so that indeed fixed our charging system issue we just diagnosed it and uh, went through the steps narrowed it down to the reg rec got one ordered and Rick's always comes through so definitely gave him a call and I was like hey I don't see one for this on your website but you know sent him some photos went back and forth and they landed on this one fit well just had to shorten one lead they they leave it long for uh i don't know just fitting multiple applications and everything's fine so as of now um all i have to do is kind of put the rear hanger on the exhaust on that thing and it's ready to go rip i'm excited about it so i have some buddies coming in um two days from now for me and we're gonna go ride so that thing's ready my klr is ready if you guys are at all interested in KLR videos and just put one up on those or I just put a video up on that bike but anyway we're making progress this bike's coming a long way all right well I'm gonna end it off here we've made great progress on the Buell we've got the suspension completely gone through on this thing the brakes completely gone through and uh, the charging systems fixed and as of now all that's left to do is to ride this damn thing so over the coming week I'm definitely gonna put some miles on this thing I'll get some get some clips up for you and uh, we'll see how it is. We'll see what the, uh, what the bike's really like when I can kind of push on it a little bit, have some fun with it. So anyway, after this, next up is going to be probably the exhaust. And then we can start worrying about some other aesthetic stuff. But yeah, hopefully you guys like the series. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Again, if you have any suggestions with the speedometer and the situation I'm in there, put them down below. I'd, re I'd really appreciate it. So be sure to follow me on social media, just Brickhouse Builds Across the Board. And uh, subscribe if you haven't. We're almost at 5,000 subs, and that would mean a lot. I want to get there, and uh, I'm really thankful for it. So thank you guys who have. And, yeah, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.